Hi, this is Maginoni, and uh, here's my review of the batches of number zeros that came out that I picked up. We have uh, Batman Zero, I mean Detective Zero, I should say, Swamp Thing, World's Finest, Earth Two, Stormwatch, Dial H, and Animal Man. Now, I'm not going to review all of these individually because I think uh, what you're going to see is a cookie cutter review in that these books are almost all the same. They fall under a couple different categories. And I got to tell you, after reading these things, my brain went numb and I don't want to do anything. I really just don't want to. Now, I'm not, it's not to say that they're bad. It's just something happened that it, it I guess you could say kind of bored me over over the long haul. And I wish that there weren't that many zeros coming out all at once. Because it's really not making me look forward to the rest. Now, what we have here is this. Like, for an example, let's see, I can do Stormwatch here. Stormwatch and kind of takes place in the middle of what what's going on right now but it kind of gives you a side story you know of they're warning you of impending doom type thing and they give you a little bit of history of uh, the Millennium Child type thing and I thought you know this was like an interesting story they could have easily have this could have been Stormwatch number 13 and it would have been no big deal now Earth 2 gave us a nice interesting look at what's going on and um, in terms of that world um, you also get to see it basically was a setup for the the villain to come type thing so I, I appreciated that one dial H this was the one that had me wondering the most because this goes way back at the time with the first dial type one of the first dials I'm, I don't even want to say it's the first because either they could easily come up with another one and I was really kind of curious to see what they were going to do with the hero creation. Now, the bumper car one, uh, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't quite fit during that time period. I was hoping for something maybe a little bit different, but I don't know. We'll see. Now, Detective was interesting in the sense that it was more of um, It took a look of Bruce Wayne while he was training and it showed uh, I guess you could say how he, like events that led up to the to cause him to be the way he is because in this issue here his um, you know he's being trained and his you know masters quote unquote master gets assassinated and it's basically a betrayal issue and I thought that was like the last page was really strong I thought you know with the way Bruce looks and it's kind of like you can see his he's starting to turn into that Batman uh, mentality. Now, this one, it was an interesting read, but it was more of, of like their first meeting. And we also get to see uh, how Catwoman gets killed in, in Earth Zero, which I thought was kind of like the... At the scenes that you see the Catwoman's dead and with uh, Batman and then um, Robin comes in, it was kind of brutal to kind of look at, but at the same time, I, mean, I just kind of wanted to go, I wish they would take that kind of storytelling and move it to the regular continuity with other characters. Because, you know, I think what they tend to do is, if it's a throwaway character that they know they're never going to use again, and it's used for flashback purposes, then they do something extreme and interesting to them but if it's an existing character that they need for continuity they're less likely to want to take that kind of risk which it's really unfortunate and it, it only thing it really did was bring remind me of that kind of writing they, I, I like to call it cowardly writing because the writers a lot of, I don't want to blame the writers I'm going to blame the editors they don't want to take extreme chances with some of their characters to for growth and development. Now, these two issues, it basically is takes place right before their number ones. And it it's kind of like origin issues for both of these also. Now 
it the art's decent, the writing is decent, but I have to tell you, I'm getting kind of burned out with the whole rot storyline. I mean, in both of these cases, they really make the rot like this incredibly powerful entity, and I know it is. You know, because it's got to be powerful enough to take out the uh, red and the green, but it also shows how stupid the red and the green are. Like, in Swamp Thing, all the rot does is just assassinate all of the, you know, the, um, uh, the, the next person who's going to be their champion. And it's like, don't you realize what's going on, and don't you think that maybe you might want to take a little better care at protecting your savior type thing? It's like, you really deserve to get beaten with that kind of attitude. And same with Animal Man. It's like when they made uh, Buddy Baker into Animal Man, they could have made him super powerful, but they're like, eh, just give him enough powers just so this way he can manage and he can probably protect, you know, the, the, or guard the next one. And um, we don't want to make him godlike. How about you make him as powerful as you possibly can? That way, uh, you, you you don't run into the problem of your, you know, your next person, your champion, or whatever, to get killed. You know, and I and I just don't understand that kind of mentality. But you know, maybe it's a little bit of, um, you know, like the, the sense of like how maybe they they think that they're so powerful that they don't need to invest that much effort into it. I don't know. Now, I can say overall, most of these were entertaining. Most of these were, I mean, they're well, they're, they're, they're well written, you know, as a whole. So I don't want to make it look like I'm slamming them. But it, I guess you can say, just imagine reading a trade paperback of origin issues going, origin issue, origin issue, origin issue, and so on. That's what it's like reading these. And... I it's it it dulled me. It dulled my creativity. It dulled my desire to want to even read the next comic book because it was like I was reading the same story all over again, but with different, just like a Mad Loop, you know, change the name and then the story's the same. But so I'm not really looking forward to the rest of them. But anyways, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Write the video up or down. Let me know what you think. Like the Facebook link down there because I give out free comic books and I've been doing that for the past couple days. So until next time.